Hi everybody, hope you are all well. So this is a teeny weeny set of nails, um, but I do work on a lot of clients that do have small nails, um, but we can still make them look beautiful. So I still like to um, upload them. So the nude that I'm going in with at the minute is from Neo Nails and it is called Natural Beige. Um, and I kind of swap between this one and CG jp's um cherry blossom but i just find this one is a lot nuder um for people you know it, it hasn't got too much of a pink undertone to it so um that's why i really like it when people do want you know like a, a nude so as i say um I'm building more of the colour up around the cuticle area because I am going to go in with a glitter on the free edge and then feather that like upwards. Um, and on the index finger I'm just going in with it totally nude because I will go in with a chrome powder on top. Um, so I'm just using my CJP number 8 brush and this is the oval one. Um, so as I say, just using my using my normal three ball method, um, you know, just building that coverage up on that nail. Um, and then as I say, I will go in with a gorgeous glitter, which is from Glitter Arty Nails. And it is one of their rose gold holographic ones. I think it's a multi-mix one. Um, and it's beautiful. It does have like a pinky tone to it, but it is super holographic and just gorgeous. So um, I just pick a very small bead of um, clear acrylic, which is from CJP, and just dip it into that raw glitter. And I'm just feathering that back a bit. And then I just want it a little bit more um, by the free edge. So I just dip my brush back into my glitter and just obviously on that wet layer. So on the ring finger, I'm just going to cover the whole nail with the glitter. And just look how many colours reflect off the holograph. I love holographic. Um... I think it's just so much nicer. You get so much variety of colours from it, like blues, greens, purples, yellows. You just, you do, you really get it all. Um, so I'm just going to do the same on the other ones. As I say, just, I kind of like wipe my brush like on the edge. So I get everything off my brush and then just feather it back over um, a little bit. And yeah, just put that glitter in place where I fancy having it so on the thumb I think I must have like forgetting to do the thumb or something so I'm just going to do exactly the same on the thumb um, and then I will go in and encapsulate all of them nails Um, I haven't showed any encapsulation I don't know why but I do have some filing for you today because you always ask about my filing and I just I hate recording filing because oh, I just I kind of get my camera in angle properly and so I have to file without my dust extractor and that just makes a mess but for you guys I do occasionally do one for you um so you can just see the way that I do. So on my right hand, I normally do use my thumb to remove any spillover acrylic. Um, but obviously I don't have any nails on. So I'm just using my cuticle tool just to release any of that acrylic that might have spilled over. Um, and then I will go in with my hand file and just neaten up them edges. You know, your side walls and your free edge. Um... And, you know, you've got to do this as neat as possible. And then I just flick out the excess that, like, builds up, like, underneath. I just flick that out with my nail and then, obviously, just file it away. I mean, me personally, I think that's the best bit after you've had your nails done is picking the bits out underneath. Um, and then I will go in with my e-file and... This cuticle tool bit that I use... Um, I purchased it on eBay and I don't have any links to it. I'm really sorry. Um, but it is just a medium carbide drill bit ceramic. Oh, anyways, you'll see where it is. So I just use it on 
just above a medium speed you know not too fast and definitely concentrate around that cuticle area and just making everything look neat as I possibly can um so as I say you can just see the way that I do it but then I do go in with my hand file afterwards and because sometimes the a file can leave like like lines in um in the acrylic so if you just go over with a hand file in the buffing block and that just smooths everything out and it just looks so much nicer so once obviously i've done all that i'm going to remove all the dust off and then on the index finger the one that i'm going to put the chrome on i go in with my blue sky non-tacky gel top coat apply a layer of that and then cure that in my led lamp for 30 seconds and um, you must have a no wipe gel top coat for this bit um now this chrome powder is from Glitter Arty Nails but it's not like that chrome chrome powder it's more like that bronzy chrome one um, and I really like it. Um, sometimes I find with the other chromes you know they're just the two silver for, for my liking I just find this one's a really nice one no matter what base colour I put it on. So I just had a little bit of raggy skin that was driving us nuts so I just go in and snip it away. Um, so then I just go in with my Blue Sky No Wipe um, top coat again and just obviously go over all of them nails and make everything come to life. It's like magic stuff gel top coat. I don't know what it is but it makes everything come to life and gorgeous and you can see all of them sparkles. Um, so I have left some pictures at the end. They're not the best of pictures for some reason. My camera just has obviously been having a bad day. Um, but I have left some pictures and I really hope that you did enjoy the set of nails. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. Um, and I love you all guys. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.